That's kind of like the needing some rescue from the quarantine. I know usually on your Facebook feed, there's tons of this and that and reposting stories. And I'm like, Ugh, just stay away. Almost found myself in a, in a debate too. I was like, wait, what just happened? Hey, Sarbert, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being on here. And again, I'm doing a crystal healing cards. And we just left a, um, a show, this woman, she's doing her own Coachella. And I thought that was pretty magical that she decided to do her own Coachella. She's like, you know what? Coachella's canceled. I'm not canceled. I'm doing it. I'm having a show and it's going to be for everybody. So anyway, I just think that that's really um, the best way to do it is like to stay connected. Like just because we're socially, um, they said social distance. And I'm so happy that people are finally catching on and calling it physical distancing because you don't want to disconnect from people when especially when we really need each other right now, more than anything, we need each other. So I'm Shannon Bobo. Today, today's um, question or um, thought of the day is, what was your first concert? <laughs> We're going there with that. My morning meditations that I do, that's the question that they ask over the weekend. Um, they said, what was your first concert? And, um, and also, uh, how are you guys doing? Like, what are you grateful for? That was a question yesterday, but I, I'd like to continue that on. I think I want it to be an attitude of gratitude every day. Like, what are you grateful for right now? And what was your, your first concert, if you want to share that with us on the scribe? Um, and I'm reading some cards today. I'm reading from, honestly, I have about 10 decks, but my favorite two decks are the goddess cards and also the crystal medicine oracle cards by Rachel Charman. I got it as a gift for my birthday last year from my um, my soulmate that I'm with. Ah, I got my soulmate relationship. <laughs> it's nothing in the world like having your soulmate relationship. But anyway, I'm reading the cards today. So if anyone would like a card, please just tell me what it is that you want to do. And again, first concert. And um, what is your what are you grateful for? Like, what do you what do you what's what it, what is it that you're grateful for? Like gratitude, um, attitude of gratitude every day. And what was your First, Gratitude Sunday. I'm putting gratitude every day. Every day is gratitude. <laughs> anyway, so, so Sarbear, would you like a card? Because it's like, um, so, so far it's Sunday. Usually Sundays are um, the most exciting day because it could get a little bit more intimate. And I really appreciate that. But the, it goes on no matter what. And let me tell you a little bit about the crystal of the day. So Sarbear, I'm gonna get you a card first. So Sarbear, so anyway, Sarbear, anything that's on your heart, like anything that you would like to um, have some answers to or some insight on, just put that in your mind's eye right now. Well, on your heart, leading from your heart first. Um, I haven't been to a concert. <laughs> Sarbear is like, I've not been to a concert. Good for you. <laughs> Okay, and Kim McLean, this is so cute. She said her first concert was a Dolly Parton concert. And um, she's grateful because she has not had any cigarettes in the past two weeks, which is amazing. Um, I mean, yes, girl, give me. So Kim, you would like a card as well, I take it. So I'm, I'm reading cards from the Crystal, the Crystal Medicine Oracle. And so that's a pretty exciting book. I love this book. So I am reading cards today for people. And the kyanite crystal, i got to tell you a little bit about that. So the kyanite crystal is another throat chakra. It's a grounding stone, but it's also for communication. It's a grounding root, crystal, root chakra crystal that also helps with the um, throat chakra. And it's helping you speak your truth. And it's also um, to help avoid negative talk from other people too. How about that? So it's like if you have some people in your life that are like speaking negative, or energy protection, space clearing, and it's also good for cord cutting. Cord cutting is really important. Like if you need to, if there's somebody in your life that you just need to kind of like not have a tie to. I used to have so many entanglements with people that it was kind of sad and ridiculous. Um, but this crystal, this particular crystal helps with cord cutting. Now I love um, the idea of cutting cords from things that no longer serves you. It's like, cut that bitch out, bite. So Star Bear, we're going to do your card. Then Kim, we'll do a card for you as well. And anybody else wants to go? Cynthia, um, my first concert was R. Kelly too. My first concert was R. Kelly. Cynthia said her first concert was R. Kelly. My first concert was R. Kelly, but he did not um, get me because I think I was a little too old for him. I was 15. I was too old for him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really bad joke. But um, yeah, he was my first concert. Um, yes, I did. I did cut your cord. Yep. And it, and it felt the energy of cutting cords is similar to cutting the cord. Um, Anybody is ever so blessed to be able to cut the cord of a baby being born, you are 
hella blessed. That's all I have to say. Hella blessed. That's a blessing. But it's it's such a signal of like um you could just release it and let it go. And again, it's a waning moon, so it's perfect time to release anything that long no longer serves. So Star Bear, with that said, hopefully you can just think of your heart. Again, I'm using my um, crystal medicine oracle cards today. It's one of my favorite decks. I only have about two, 10 decks, but this is definitely um, the goddess cards by Doreen Virtue and also the card, um, the crystal medicine oracle cards are my favorite two decks, like ever. Those are my favorite decks. So yeah, so we're reading a couple of cards. So Star Bear, let's see, let's see what card comes to you. Hopefully you have whatever it is that you want some answers to or some clarity on. Just think about whatever that is and then we'll get your card read and then Kim will do your card next after that. And again, um, thanks so much for being on here. The question of the day is, what was your first ever concert? Um, one of my friends is on here now. She said her first concert was was R. Kelly and so was mine and LL Cool J. <laughs> I can't believe I went to an R. Kelly concert. Um, and I, yes, I did survive R. Kelly. He did not touch me. I was too old. That's my joke. I'm like, I was too old. I was 15. <laughs> so I was too old for him to mess with me. <laughs> anyway, um, first I was offended. I was like, wait, am I not cute? No, it's just that um, I was too old for him. That's a really bad joke. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're, you got to survive Shannon Bobo with some of her bad jokes sometimes. So inappropriate. <laughs> so, Star Bear, um, hopefully you're ready. Like, nothing is speaking to me yet. I always The reason why I'm pulling these decks right now and still chatting is because I can't. Um, the perfect card isn't coming for you yet, but I know what's coming up. So just whatever it is that you need some clarity on, let's think about that. So thanks so much for being on here. Again, the question of the day is what was your first concert? What was your first concert and um, what are you grateful for? Like I, at first I was just doing a gratitude Saturday, but I want gratitude every day. So it is now of all now moments, what are you grateful for? So um, Star Bear, the Rhodonite Crystal. Oh, I got a Rhodonite Crystal somewhere too. But the card that came up for you today is reflection. And it's like the winter period and to reflect and that's the season that is suggesting for you. Again, this is a perfect card for um, this time. I love the cards that I've been reading. I was just on somebody else's show just a few minutes ago. And um, a lot of very similar cards were coming up for people. Because I honestly believe that these cards can end up being a collective consciousness of what everyone is kind of moving through. So again, the winter card is reflection. And the Rhodonite crystal is a it's, it's a grounding crystal and it's also a heart chakra crystal it's a crystal for the heart and i don't have it one near me right now but i definitely have a rhodonite crystal um but it's telling you let me just read a little bit about winter is a time of reflection like just turning within and um doing nothing now is the time for you to literally not do anything sarbear like um hopefully you're still on here i don't see you on a feed but um you have the you have attracted this card into your awareness as it is time for a deep reflection, Sarbear. It's time to go within and connect to the inner wisdom that is offered and available to you at this time. Your surroundings are constantly guiding you towards opportunities for growth and powerful life lessons. Most of the time, what we see on the outside is a reflection of what we have deep within. Everything acts as a mirror for us to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. This reflection can come from people, animals, crystals crystals, trees, or anything that holds the energy and the spirit. The old saying, what you see in others is a reflection of what you see in yourself, can include positive or negative behaviors. So it is helpful to remember that when you point a finger at someone else, there are three pointing back at you and a thumb. When you can deeply understand that the reflection others offer us is a powerful opportunity to heal the unloved parts of ourselves and also powerful life lessons that you can set yourself free. Um, have you been troubled with, with someone of late and are you blaming them or pointing a finger at them? Are you putting someone else on a pedestal because you believe that they are better than you? Do you feel something stirring within and wanting to come to surface? Whatever it is that's happening for you right now, the answer to your questions is life within. You may find it helpful to take some time to sit and reflect on the current situation. Um, what are you seeing in others? that you can see in yourself. So it's like, if you spot it, you got it. So if it's something that um, that somebody is saying to you or doing to you and you're like, uh, you know, I don't like this, blah, 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 blah. There's something within you that's triggered for a reason. It's something that you need to heal. Again, if you spot it, you got it. Right now, there are signs all around you telling you to connect to the profound wisdom of your own soul and healing and awareness. 
do whatever you are guided to at this time to allow this to fully awaken. This card can also mean that it's time to um, take a, a, a like, a, it's just time to, to deeply reflect on what's happening within. I hope that makes sense to you, Star Bear. So whenever cards like this pop up, it is absolutely the time for you to reflect. And it's like, if some, especially if someone is bugging you or something that someone is saying or doing is bugging you, that means that um, there's something within them that's triggering you and it's something that you need to heal. So I think this card is, is very, very beautiful in that way. Um, Rhodonite, again, it's a it's a renewal card. it's a renewal stone it's about love and all this other stuff so um she said yes it totally makes sense okay so um yeah so i love cards like this for some this is is asking you to find a quiet space and close your eyes and take a deep breath and call in the devas of the rhodonite crystal breathe the energy of the crystal into your heart spend in a few minutes to connecting the energy to your heart so right now it's like again rather than um, being upset with whatever it is that's triggering you, whatever person or thing or event that's happening right now that's um, like really upsetting for you, there's something within you that just needs to be healed. Um, yes, I was thinking about love, self-healing, absolutely. So again, I can't always get to um, read everybody's card whenever we're doing these live feeds, but if it's something that resonates with someone, it means it's absolutely meant for you as well. It's like a collective consciousness, especially when we're all together. Um, you know, perfect while you were shuffling. Yeah. It took me a while to get, cause I only, um, sometimes I'm like, wow, nothing's coming up. Um, so it's like, just really focus on that. Um, so turn into Facebook. Cause I'm doing a Facebook live as well as an Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, there's Instagram, there's Facebook. But so Brenda said her first concert was Rod Stewart. That's so cool. <laughs> Rod Stewart. I went to see, um, Kenny Loggins. And um, Messina, the opening act was a band I never heard of. Um, Fleetwood Mac? Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if you ever hear it. Today I don't have it playing, but I always play Fleetwood Mac. And I love, without a doubt, Stevie Nicks. I love her so much. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to meet her. Hey, Sandra, thanks for being on here, Sandra. <laughs> um, she's going to, sorry, going to switch over to Facebook. Yeah, Facebook for some reason could be a little bit better of a connection, but that's so cool. Um, Sandra, I borrowed from our call today, so I'm making it, what was your first concert? Because I think it's a, rare, it's a very fun thing to talk about. And then also just, I think every day is going to be a gratitude day. So whatever it is that you're grateful for that you want to share. So Kim, I believe, I don't know if Kim is still on here, but Kim, we're going to read your card next. Um, oh my God. I, I listen to Stevie Nicks all the time. Like I've introduced so many, cause I have all these younger women that like to hang out with me. They're like in their twenties. Um, and, and, and I, I've introduced so many of them to Stevie Nicks. It's kind of ridiculous. They're like, um, every time I think of Stevie Nicks, I think of you. I love that. All these, every time these little white girls think of Stevie Nicks, they think of me. A, a, a goddess because uh, <laughs> Stevie Nicks is a goddess too she's pretty awesome so Kim oh so Kim let's uh let's uh get to your card so Kim again whatever it is in your heart that you that's on your heart that you want some reflection or answers on or something that's calling you to just a, a little bit of clarity like a anything like that um let's pull a card for you so whatever um, hopefully you're still on. I think I see you still on here. Yes, I still see Kim on here. I can't always tell who's on here or not. Um, hey, Magic, thanks for being on here. I love it whenever men are on here. That's like my jam. I love women too. But whenever a man is like, let me see what this girl talked about her little cards and her crystals and stuff. The crystal of the day is the Kyanite crystal. And the Kyanite crystal not only helps us connect with our ancestors and um, our spirit guides and everything, it's a protective crystal, it's a throat chakra crystal. It helps, um, and it also helps cut cords. Like if it's somebody that you know you need to disconnect from or something, an idea or anything like that, this crystal is supposed to aid with that. I use crystals for healing. Um, and this is the kind, this is a crystal of the day. I do a crystal of the day, and the card deck I'm reading from is Crystal Oracle Medicine. Uh, my um, my soulmate got me this for my birthday last year. He's so sweet. Like he knows me so well. And and I this is from my favorite deck. I only have about ten decks. Obviously, I need a little bit more. He wants me to have my own deck. <laughs> he said we need to get you your own deck. So Kim, while I was shuffling, 
the card that showed up for you is the divine feminine. And it's asking you, do you have a moonstone up here? I do have a moonstone, but the crystal is the um, black moonstone. This is just a regular moonstone. See Instagram, that's just a regular. Um, and Casey is like, yes, make your own deck. I will make my own deck. I need to get an artist. I need to instill with things. Cause I know exactly what I want it to look like. Um, the black moonstone, look at that. That's so beautiful. And that's a divine feminine. Oh my God. We're always talking about the divine feminine in this household and how that always leads towards the heart. And whenever the divine feminine shows up, uh, and it's the moon, of course, I always like to think of the sun as like as the the universe and the moon as Mother Earth, and like um, and we all need our mother. Like the and that's why I work with moon cycles. And a lot of women who do this type of work that I do work with moon cycles as well. Right now, the moon cycle is in a waning moon portion, and it's always the during the waning moon is the the time it's always a good time to let go and it's always a good time to manifest no matter what but i feel like it's the most powerful when it's at the waning moon portion of the of the moon cycle for example after the full moon it just kind of like goes down like that and um and it goes down to a dark moon and then a new moon and then we go forth so it's a it's a perfect time to just release yes divine feminine yes sandra kim I hope you understand that you have a divine feminine warrior goddess in the house too right now. So, and that again, sometimes these cards pop out for um, more than just the person who it was originally meant for. And this was um, clearly, it resonates with me. I'm accepting this card too. Like I said, if the shoe fits, you wear that bitch. You wear that shoe if it fits for you. Um, you have attracted this card into your, uh, to open the divine feminine essence at a deeper level, both women and men. So whenever we talk about the divine feminine, sometimes men are like, oh, you going on that woman stuff. Mm -mm. It's not about being woman. It's about being um, tapping into all of our divine feminine. Both women and men hold within the energy of the feminine. And you are currently entering into a stage where the powerful energy will assist you in a world in a current situation. The divine feminine is the mama. She's the healer. She helps people heal. The divine, the energy of the feminine has many masks and facets and will, and when we can honor and welcome this energy into our lives, we will open to a depth like never before. The divine feminine is all about surrender, very similar to what we're all doing right now. Um, it's, it's about surrendering, receiving, nurturing, love, mystery, vulnerability, powerful, flow, tenderness, empathy, and sensuality. When connecting to this potent energy, we are able to stand strong in our all-knowing and encompassing, um, encompassing strength. We will also know when to soften and to surrender to the power of vulnerability and understand the dance between the two. Feminine energy allows us to connect deeply to our intuition and the profound wisdom of our soul. It allows us to sit in our raw emotions and our shadow and birth deep awareness and healing. Are you scared of intimacy? Are you struggling with your own power? Do you run from your own feelings or emotions? Whatever is currently happening in your life, you are being invited to connect deeply to the divine feminine energy that is held within. It's time to surrender control and allow this powerful essence to align and inspire your being. Just by simply acknowledging the presence of the divinity within, you will invoke the power of your feminine. It's time to shine in all glory to open and receive the gifts of this medicine so far. I believe like no kidding that in times of, of uh, that we're going through, it is always time to turn within. And I, you know, the divine feminine is so beautiful and wonderful and magnificent. I, I noticed that whenever I, I truly tap into my divine feminine, I'm able to get so much that I want. <laughs> like instead of being aggressive and, you know, and it's not, and it's not about being um, like, I, I feel like, okay, this is my personal opinion. I feel like we've gotten to a point where um, sometimes as women, we feel like we need to like be, uh, um, be like a dude to get what I want. Mm -mm. Sometimes it's just being in your divine feminine power. Every single, we're, we're receivers, like just to receive and all the power I feel like is in the, in the stillness and the quiet. And um, this card, suggest that like just turning within and being like having that power within and without and people listen people listen when we're um 
I hope that makes sense to people. Because sometimes when I explain it in a certain way, they're like, girl, I ain't trying to go back to 1918, 19 or whatever, bitch. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying the divine feminine is so powerful. And um, knowing, just turning within and speaking from a place of love, like connecting straight to the heart. So your heart can connect to someone else's heart and they can really, really hear you. And I keep, my partner said, you keep repeating the story, but it's very, 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 my, my only like kind of debate or um, argument, if you will, with the person was recently with one of the financial institutions. He was, he wasn't hearing anything that I was saying. So I remember I was like, oh, I'm, he's not going to hear me. He doesn't have a listening for me right now. And so rather than um, match his energy, I turned within and I just said, listen, I could tell that something is going on and it's not the right time for us to connect and speak. So I'm gonna call back and speak to someone else. And it, I didn't make him wrong. He was clearly going through something. The key is I knew it had nothing to do with me. So that's um, that's important to always remember. Um, anyway, the Black Moon Zone, the, the crystal that's asking for you to read today, Kim, it helps you surrender to the mystery of your soul. It also assists to, the, um, to feel strong in the face of vulnerability. So to be vulnerable, I think is, is to like turn within and be in your heart is like, is such a divine way of being and seeking. And hopefully that card resonates with you, Kim. Um, yeah, so th that's the card that we got for you. And a little bit more, it says the moon, which was formed 4.6 billion years ago, has a huge influence over us and our planet, including the power to control the tides of all bodies of water. The element of water is deeply connected to our emotions and in turn, the moon has a huge pull over our emotional state. That's why <laughs> a lot of the times during a full moon, you'll find that a lot of women are on their um, their monthly cycle. <laughs> like it all happens. It's amazing. Like if you talk to people, all of a sudden everybody's on their menses. The energy of the full moon can be particularly potent because of this huge electromagnetic pull upon the earth, which charges everything up, even us. That's where it's like, the moon made me do it. The full moon, people are doing something crazy right now. The moon can represent the medicine of cycles of ebb and flow um, from full to dark and everything in between. In ancient times, people would look to the moon for understanding about the phases of the year. The calendar system was created by the under this understanding. I was even watching the Tudors and Henry VIII even used astrology in the moon cycles. So Kim, this card, she said, this card makes sense. I'm feeling very disconnected, isolated, and not in control of stuff. Gaining weight, feeling aggressive. This is, Kim, first of all, thank you so much for being willing to be vulnerable. This is vulnerable. You you seeing this is very vulnerable and very real. And a lot of people are moving through this. And it's very honest. Um, I'm very connected to the moon so much that my menstrual cycle is right. And yeah, exactly. It, it it's, it's beautiful how it connects, like, Oftentimes during a full moon or right after the waning moon, you'll find a lot of women, especially if you if you work near a lot of women, or in this case, if we live with a bunch of women, um, all of a sudden your cycles sync up because we're all connected and it's beautiful to watch it. And thank you so much, Kim, for being so vulnerable. Um, this is like the, the beautiful sign of vulnerability um, by simply sharing what it is that you're moving through right now, um, feeling disconnected and isolated. And so, you know, there's this thing where you have to trust and know that while you may be alone, you are not alone. There are many people that are connected and they feel this exact same way. And the cool part about any feelings or any emotions is that it's going to come to pass. So whatever you're feeling right now, it's like you you, you could spot it. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm going through this right now, but no and acknowledging it too, but just, just realizing that it's not going to stay forever. And like, again, I've been doing, I keep talking about this because I can't talk about it enough. I've been doing heart math meditation for the last month and I do many different meditations and I have done many different meditations throughout my entire spiritual awakening life. And I've been on this path for a very long time. And it's so funny watching family members are like, you were always kind of woo woo. Guys, I was always woo woo. <laughs> I was always connected to the divine feminine in that way. Um, but yeah, so, but the heart math meditation, what I'm learning from it is just, whatever it is that you're feeling, you can move past it um, and just allow that space for you to fill it, but just know that it's not going to last there forever. And the quickest way that I'm learning to um, connect to something that is better feeling. So it's not 
you're not pretending like it doesn't happen. You're not masking it. You're just putting your attention on something different that um, makes your heart sing, like something that gives you a little bit more joy. You know, and and this can be doing anything. Like we were talking about our favorite concerts, or um, you, you just think of some music or something, something that um, puts your heart at a different space, and and that will help, kind of kind of help you get out of that thought because. Um, you know, we, that's the cool part that we can, um, control what we're thinking and what our thoughts are on. We could shift it. We could shift it with the shifting of our awareness and, um, connecting to something that makes us feel a little bit better, that has our heart lightening up a little bit. Um, that's why I like thinking of something that makes you laugh, like a thought, like a joke, even lately for me, it's been Dave Chappelle. Like I've just been watching so much of Dave Chappelle because he says things that I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe he just said that. But he just said that <laughs> like the other day he went, he said, um, um, uh, Neil Brennan, it was like one of his specials and long story short, Neil Brennan, who was one of his directors and one of his writers said that they, he and Dave Chappelle were watching a, um, a slave movie. And then when the movie was over, it was such a serious and very like, heavy movie. And then when a the movie was over, Dave Chappelle looked at him and said, do you think the slave beat their kids? I think that's so funny. That's so funny and so inappropriate, but it's hilarious. Um, Kim McLean says, just wrote that you were saying before we are on the same wave. Oh, good. Can you, can you type? I don't remember what I said. Sometimes things come out of my mouth. I say, oh, I said that the other day, somebody came on this channel and they said, oh my God, you said, when you said that the trees bleed amber in their life too. I, I was like, did I say that? I don't even <laughs> so y'all got to <laughs> Remind me of what I said sometimes because it, it's like it just comes to me in the in the spirit. I know what my heart is on, and sometimes I, when I'm speaking straight from my heart, my brain doesn't always remember everything I said. Let's just put it that way. Sandra, I like that she said like, um, she agrees. I did a breath work meditation right after a heart math meditation. Amazing back to back healing for me today. So needed. Been feeling low and now to oh yes, just a, just a beautiful shift. And Sandra actually she's she helped me get through something. Cause the day before someone, cause I've been asking my, my, I'm with my soulmate. I'm quarantining with my soulmate, which is so beautiful. But the other, I've been asking him not to tell me anything that's going on in the, in the news, unless it's incredibly important. And thank God he's been honoring that. And he hasn't been, but the other day we ran into somebody who did tell me something that's going on in the news and it put me in such a funky space. And then Sandra was like, you look so serious today, Shannon. And then a few seconds later, she said, oh, I finally watched that movie that we all talked about. And it was great. So she said that. And I was like, it, it shifted my whole energy, too. I was like, oh, my God, that movie was great. And it just it's just that simple, like um, choosing a new place to put your attention on, you know, like regardless of what's going on. We're so if you live with an animal or a child, they will help with that. Those kids and those those animals will help you. Like my dog, for some reason, has finally started acting like a dog. We've had her for about 18 months and she's a rescue dog. So I think she, whatever her life situation is, I don't know what it was, but I have a feeling that it was probably a little bit traumatic because she only barks in her dreams and she'd be going off on somebody in her dreams. I don't know what the hell is happening in this dog's dream, but she'd be, she let somebody know in her dreams. And then in real life, she doesn't bark. Which some people will be like, oh my God, she doesn't bark. You're so lucky. No, a dog, that's what a dog do. She needs to be able to do dog shit. A dog deserves to be able to bark. Um, so the other day she was, she's been playful. She's been grabbing toys and like going crazy. Like she's acting like a puppy. They think she's about five years old. And it's so beautiful to watch her finally be in her um, full expansion and full growth and knowing that she's safe and knowing that she's with people who love her and they're going to take care of her. And when she does bark, she'll be like, Whoa! and then she'll look back at us like, like, I feel like she's looking back at us like, y'all going to beat my ass or no, or am I going to get my ass beat for barking? <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for being on here too. So we have time to read. I have time to read at least three more cards if anybody else would like a card. Um, it, it, we were just talking about how um, connected some of the cards are. Like somebody will ask for a card and all of a sudden two or three people are like, oh my God, I resonate with that as well. It is definitely, absolutely a collective consciousness. Again, the same cards would definitely not be read if it was a different dynamic of people, clearly, because that's just like the, um, the way things kind of operate. So, but I do have time for a few more cards if anybody would like a card read. And then the thought of the day is, 
um, what's your, what are you grateful for this Sunday? I think we're going to do grateful every single Sunday, like every single day of the week, Monday through whatever day it is. And then the kyanite crystal is that protective stone, um, protecting your speech. And then also it helps you, helps your guides come through to help you with things. And it's also a protective stone and for cord cutting. So we're going to do Sandra next. We're going to do a card for her. So again, Sandra, I always ask people to just say anything that may be coming from your heart, anything that you may be moving through that you just kind of want some clarity on or something that you like that may you just want some guidance or some um, answers to and maybe one of these cards will pop out. She was at the con. Oh, Brenda said pop out one for Nancy. So we'll get Nancy a card as well. <laughs> and then that you guys were at that Fleetwood Mac concert. I like that. Anyone for the love. Of oh, OK. You know what, Sandra? You have the greatest love of all. And the greatest love of all is you. Um, that is that is so, in thinking of terms of that, I honestly didn't think I was ever going to meet my soulmate. When my um, soulmate showed up, I was so done with men at the time. I was like, mm, I'm done with men. I'm done. I'm done with this. Mm, I'm so good. <laughs> my dog had just died. I was down in the dumps. Um, I re recommend a Kunzai crystal. A Kunzai crystal, if you're ready for that, the one who is the one, if you're ready for him to show up, he, um, Kunzai, K-U-N-Z-I-T-E, Kunzai crystal. And then um, also um, for me personally, what really, really helped is our, I'll never forget writing this um, letter to my soulmate. And I did it straight from my heart. I was in a most beautiful speaking place. I was right dead smack in my heart. And it was like, and I was just like writing that card to that. It was a Valentine's Day card. And I wrote it like he existed already, like he was already here. And then I showed my soulmate the card and he's like, oh my God, this sounds just like me. <laughs> so I'm like, be careful what you ask for because you'll get it. He's interesting. So I like this card that came up for you, Sandra. The card that came up for you was celebration. So it's time to celebrate the knowing that he is already here. You're the one who is the one is already here. You guys are just walking towards each other through this. Like right now, it's, it's hard to meet anybody because we, we're... <laughs> We're on isolation. <laughs> so, but while you're waiting on that person, just know that that person is on their way. And the red Jasper crystal, um, do I have a, uh, I do have a red Jasper crystal. That, that's a card that came for you as a grounding stone. It's so beautiful. It is time to celebrate and, 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 and like have that, um, I love India Ari, private party. That's one of my favorite songs. Um, and she's just like, I'm having a private party. And it's so great. It's like, like celebrating your life as that person is already here. They're already, they're, they're just making their way. That's all, that's all that's happening. It's like, oh, he's just, he's here. He's on his way. He just, he walking towards me. I'm walking towards him. All is well. Everything is working out. Like, it's just like, just, just knowing that it's already doing it. All this inner work, all this stuff is helping you, um, be able to connect and, like so much healing is taking place. There's so much that's going on with that person that um, doesn't require you guys to be together right now, but it is on its way. This card, um, I, I honestly feel that if I was reading from my god, my goddess deck, somehow whenever we're talking about this, uh, and I know it, like I know, like I know, somehow a, a love card or like a card that's that's about like re receiving the person shows up. You have attached to this card and your awareness at this time because it's a time of celebration. The journey of life has its ups and downs. And at times we feel like we are constantly striving for the next goal. You have entered a phase of celebration and it is time to acknowledge your achievements. You have been putting a lot of energy into your projects and doing incredibly well. Today is time to recognize how far you have come and how amazing you are. Throughout history, celebration has been a big part of life with ceremonies created to acknowledge things such as harvest and times of rite of passage. People through the ages understood the celebration was an important part of the ending of a cycle and the opportunity to receive the fruit of their labors. So like doing all this inner work is so important because it's helping you receive the one who is the one. Have you been striving and achieving and not honoring yourself in the process? Mm -mm. Do you feel like all you do is work and never play? Are you always serious? I don't think so. Have you lost that magic in your life? Mm -mm, you won't. It is extremely important for you to take this time to give back to you, to give back to you, to say thank you for all that you have done in the world and all that you've been bringing to the table. 
It is easy to, to burn out and lack the energy and motivation to, to continue on um, and, and not have time for celebrations. What do you do that allows you to feel celebrated? Take yourself on a holiday. I don't know how you're gonna do it right now. <laughs> you can't really holiday right now. But uh, organize a night out with your friends or go out, buy yourself a really nice present. It's time to celebrate and rejoice being you. And I honestly believe, like, no kidding, that it is that it's time to just celebrate and trust, like, no kidding, that the right, the perfect person, the perfect situation is making itself aware um, and it's showing up. It's like you to him and him to you. Set your intention and allow yourself to be creative and expressive and celebrate your achievements and your goals. Like this is such a lovely, beautiful card. And it's like, you are celebrating, like no kidding. It is so time for that. <laughs> you are a gift. I like that. I can't wait. I, like I, One day I'm gonna share the card that I read and it's so funny because it's so my soulmate. It's so Christian. Um, and it was, it's so funny, like a little backstory on that. It was Valentine's Day and it was so sad. I was like super alone and um, and I was doing stand-up comedy that night. And the other comics were like, look how sad we are. None of us have anybody who loves us and we're just all doing stand-up together. And I was like, I do have, some I didn't have nobody. I was like, when I got up, I was like, I do have somebody. He's at home waiting on me. He just knows I gotta go to work first. I didn't have nobody, y'all. <laughs> I had nobody. I was, I was dating a guy who was also dating a bunch of other people and he didn't like me like that. He, he had no respect for me. He was a, a dickhead <laughs> with all due respect, he was. So um, I remember I just felt so such an immense love. And I'm like, I know this won't always be the case. Like I know I'm, I'm, know I'm a good person. I know I have a good heart. And I know my one who is the one is on his way to me. And I know it's about to happen and I'm not gonna worry about it. And, and I sat down and I had a glass of wine and I started playing all these songs like Black Magic and you know, all the Frank Sinatra songs and just really romantic, like old school. I don't even know why I was playing Frank Sinatra. And then, um, but just anything, you put a spell on me. I was playing songs like that. And just, it was really romantic songs. And these romantic songs, like I think of, I played and I had a bottle of wine to myself. Yeah, I had a whole bottle. <laughs> and then I um, wrote that card and, um, and the card had two golden retriever puppies on it. And I swear to God, my man now, my soulmate now, along with my dog, are the same color of those golden retrievers. I'm dating the ginger, and it's just crazy how it happened. And so, Nancy, we're gonna get a card. So again, if you're just joining us, we're doing our um, our live feed on what was your first concert and what are you grateful for. Great gratitude is gonna be something that we're gonna include every day. I've decided. I'm like, let's find something to be grateful for every single day, no matter what, no matter what, because <laughs> there's always something to be grateful for. And you're so welcome, Sandra. Time to celebrate you. So um, Nancy, if Nancy's still on here, we're going to read her card really quick. And um, and Brenda, Brenda's like, read her card. Read Nancy's card. She went to the concert with me. Oh, there's Nancy's card. I like it when they pop out like that. It's so good. Angel and spirit guides, the upper world, the angel like crystal. Um, I don't even know if she's still on here. Angels and Spirit Guides. That's the card that we got for Nancy. Oh, thank you, Sandra. And thanks for going on with me on that trip, on that journey. I don't even know what I was saying half the time. Sometimes I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> it just comes to me. Like, it was so funny. Like, I got a couple of emails from people. Um, this man who told me, he's like, you know, I wasn't really into this. And now I'm like, hmm. Maybe she has some points. So he's going to buy himself some crystals and stuff. And I was like, that's so cute. And then he told me, I said something. I was like, I don't remember saying that, but okay. <laughs> okay. So Nancy, it says, you have attracted this card into your awareness today as a sign that your angels and guides are reaching out to you for the, from the spirit world. Um, if you've been praying for guidance, just know that anybody from above, from on the other side is here um, guiding you and and just trust those the intuition, intuitive thoughts, and and um, any any listening that you have. Like if you just stop and become still and really listen um, from within, you're absolutely getting the perfect card for yourself. Um, have you been praying for guidance? Are you feeling lost and not sure which direction to take? Have you asked for healing and not sure what to do? Have you? Um, sense that a presence around you and you're not sure who it is, 
please know that your angels and guides are currently with you more than ever and they have your back. So that card is definitely for Nancy. Your angels and your guides absolutely have your back. Like regardless of what you may be filling in through, just know that your angels and your guides have your back. So I don't know. Um, they are constantly sharing their love and wisdom. And it's time for you to slow down, Nancy. This card is asking you for, for you to slow down and, um, and allow that space for your guides to give you the right answers for whatever it is that you're... I feel a very heaviness with this card, Nancy. Um, make sure to take time for meditation to connect deeply to this energy and know that your prayers are being answered and you are never alone. Your soul family always has your back and they're always looking out for you. And this is the upper world of consciousness. You know, like when we talk about like beyond a crown chakra, these are people watching out for you. So um, just know that, okay? Just, I, I definitely want you to know that. The angel light crystal helps aid the connection to the, um, the higher realms. And um, I have an angel light crystal somewhere. It's, it's behind me. It's kind of not up in my reach right now. It's right, it's above there on this other side. You, on Facebook, you can see it on the other side of me. But yeah, it's right there. But hopefully that card resonates with you. I feel a, a, a sense of heaviness with this card, Nancy. And Brenda, if you're still on here, please share that with Nancy. Um, she is um, definitely growing, growing through something. And just know that everyone is kind of, all your, your soul family is definitely looking out for you right now. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I am so grateful for all of you. Can you believe we're on day, at least for me, I'm on day 35 of this quarantine. Day 35. We've been quarantining for 35 days. I mean, some days I don't. Good card for rent for Nancy and anyone who else is speaking to. Absolutely. That card, that card was beautiful. Like it was um, an angel-like crystal. And it's asking her to sit or lie comfortably in a quiet place, put on some angelic music or trance drumming track, set an intention to meet a new guide and receive information or medicine. Um, close your eyes and allow your spirit to be lifted upon the higher realms. You will be met by a new guide or angel that will offer you healing and wisdom. Open and receive this powerful um, experience. Come back. When you feel like you've ex your experience is complete, thank your guides and your angels. Um, so yeah, it's so you have attracted this card because it's a sign that the guides and the angels are here to try to tell you something. And so whenever we get cards like that, I think it's so important for us to just allow ourselves to connect to what it is that they're trying to tell us. And sometimes it may be something that we're not really necessarily ready to hear. But when we're ready to hear that information, it's amazing how they just show up. Um, I hope that card um, is, is helpful to anyone that's out there, aside from Nancy, that may it may actually resonate with. And for me, it resonates because um, I know that there's so much more than what we're experiencing. And that's part of the reason why I've been doing this live feed, because I, I looked through, it all started with Facebook. Um, and just going through the stream of all the different posts. And oftentimes it's, it's a lot of posts of um, like reposting the news and reposting. There's a lot of people who are very, very afraid. And I don't want to deny their fear or what, they're, what it is that they're moving through right now. So rather than judge them or be um, angry at them, I was like, you know, I'm going to put my attention on something that I do think will be helping a lot of people. And I honestly feel like um, doing a live feed where we're just talking about, um, it's kind of like an anti-quarantine thing where we could just talk about commune and talk about love and um, just be, um, and then knowing that all is well, that we're all safe. If you're here right now, you're safe. Like even if you're, even if you're a little scared, you're like, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't know what's gonna happen next either. But I do know one thing, Every single moment, we get to choose our thoughts, and that's regardless of what what's happening to in our world or how 
things are kind of unfolding. I do believe it's going to bring us more togetherness um, after we get through all this bullshit. <laughs> I honestly believe that that will be the end of it. Um, oh, my mom is on here too. Sometimes I feel like I'm just talking to the wind. My mother is on here, so I'm going to pull a card from my mom. So, but I honestly believe that that cards like this and pulling cards and um, just connecting to our heart space and being about love, even if we're even if we're fearful, even if we're feeling a little bit nervous and scared, um, I think it's so. Yeah, exactly. Well, he said, hopefully soon, hopefully soon, but it's not going to be the way it was before. We can't. Obviously, we can't go back to where we were. We have to have a new earth. We and so many important guides have always talked about um, the fact that we have to change our consciousness and live differently, and we have to move towards a more we existence. The me world can't exist anymore. We have to be about each other. We have to take care of each other, our brothers and sisters, because we all are. And times like this is when we notice that, like, shit, we do really need each other. <laughs> we really do need each other. <laughs> so I'm going to pull a card for Bonnie right now. Um, that is my mother. I'm going to pull a card for her. And then that's the last card I have time for. Again, this is from the Crystal Medicine Oracle. And today was, what was your first concert? Well, I'm so interested in knowing what your first concert was. And anybody who's just joining us, what was your first concert? The Black Kaya Night, who helps us connect to the spirit worlds and also cord cutting and also having um, more thoughtful, um, protective conversations and and it's also that's that's also the also the crystal of somebody talking shit about you. You just wear this and it's like, mm, you know. <laughs> okay, so Bonnie, so whenever we're um, pulling cards, I always ask people to tune in, tap into their heart, and um, think of something that's been on your heart and your mind, and something that you just kind of want answers on, or something that you want clarity on. Um, Michael Jackson, not Michael Jackson, Bonnie Jackson, <laughs> TLC. Oh, that was your first concert. I'm sorry, Will. I said, like, what is he talking about? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, bitch, you just told me what was my first concert. His first concert was Michael Jackson. That's really cool. That's very cool. And Candace says her first concert was TLC. That's so cool. My first concert was R. Kelly, but um, I got offended. I was like, you know, when all these women came out, not I shouldn't make jokes about this. I'm a sexual assault survivor and I'm also a, um, a advocate for survivors, but I'm like, he didn't molest me. And I was like, my joke is that um, maybe I was too old. I was 15 guys. <laughs> That's a bad, terrible joke. But um, laughter I think is very healing and um, it's good to know that people are, are getting, are, are, having to be responsible for their behavior. So that's the thing. Cause again, we're living in a we world and you know, in so many ways. So, so was he hurt? I used to live at the t boss old house. Really? He used to live at t boss's old house. Oh yeah. Cause he's in Atlanta. We have people that's on his feet from all over the world and country earlier. We had some people that were from Norway. We have Chicago in the house. We have ne Nevada. We have LA of course, Santa Monica, people from all over are on his feet. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, and here's your card, Bonnie. This card, soul retrieval, soul retrieval. This card, this, this card is asking, wow, this card is your ancestors trusting and knowing that your ancestors got your back and to look back within your soul, soul retrieval. You have attracted this card because it's an opportunity for you to receive soul retrieval healing. I like to share this with people. Um, there's a bit of us that can always be healed, um, you know, like childhood trauma. I feel like most of us are always nursing that child that um, was hurt or abused or uh, was denied or anything like that. There's a way for us to, to retrieve soul, inf soul information from our ancestors, but also go back and receive, um, like, healing from our ancestors and also that we can go back and heal our ancestors throughout life. We have, um, at some point experienced a trauma that can create a factor in our energy. Most people can look back on their life and pinpoint to an experience that shaped them differently and caused them to relate in a different way. When we experience a frightening event or trauma, a piece of us, a positive aspect is frozen and left in the time and place within the energy bodies. 
Healers and shaman work powerfully to heal these fractures using a process called soul retrieval. This is where they travel through timelines to spirit world to retrieve this energy and bring it back into the physical and into the present moment. So you can get your power back. This card, I exactly will. This is a generational healing card. Do you feel like there's a part of you that's missing? Do you have a memory of a trauma that keeps raising in your head? And um, do you feel unsettled as though you are need some healing? Now is the time to reconnect to the positive energy that you had before that traumatic energy, that experience. So if you can pinpoint exactly when this trauma happened and just pull and just just go back to that point where um, where you didn't feel hurt. Because there's a bit of us, there's a piece of every single one of us. And no matter who we are, no matter what we've been through, we each have a part of us that has never been hurt or traumatized. Um, it is time to heal this old trauma so you can free yourself from the fragmented energy in your life. It is time to reclaim this aspect of yourself and live your life um, with a deeper sense of peace. Make sure to do this through the ceremonial process. Um, and I do know some shamans that you can work with as well. This card is so beautiful in that it helps, um, it helps us go back into time basically, because you could reach back into time where you weren't hurt, where you, you know, and it is a big time for generational healing. And right now, since everything is quarantined and we are living quietly, it's the perfect time for you to reach back and heal old childhood traumas. Um, so is, if you, if you can't work with a shaman right now, I'm going to, I'm going to suggest a couple of shamans for you too. find some time to sit quietly in a comfortable position and set the intention that you would like to access and receive medicine for healing that upset your soul. Close your eyes and call your power animal. If you know what it is, my power animal is an owl. <laughs> Owls are all knowing. So if you can think of a, of an animal or a bird or um, any animal that you resonate with, that you feel a connection to, and, and you could ask this, this guy to help you and you could travel back in time. And I know that sounds insane, but it is possible for you to reach back and, and basically hug the little girl that was hurt and just let her know. Um, and in fact, my um, partner does some work with this too and would love for you to consider doing that as well because I think that'd be very helpful because we we did that. You can thank all your spirits and all your guides and everybody, the were soul retrieval. It's like sometimes healing ourselves, it helps heal generations of past hurt and past pain. And um, it's, it's, it's time. This card is saying that it's absolutely time to heal old traumas. And then, um, and just, we're so lucky that we have this time in our lives to do things like this. Cause it's like, sometimes we, <laughs> we're so busy with our day to day. Like oh, I gotta go get some milk. I ain't got time to go heal my soul. <laughs> all you have is time right now. And all you have is time to lean back to the past and thank the experience. Cause the experience has brought you to what you are today. And it's going to help heal yourself and everyone that's around you. Hey, Fabian, bonjour. <laughs> I love everybody that's on here. It's so sweet. So um, Bonnie, slash, this, this card came in from my mom. My mom is on this feed right now. And this card is so beautiful. And it came in. It's like it's just like reflecting back. You get to get your power back. So you can, so you can, you can basically reach back from the past and go back to that time before you were ever hurt or injured and, and reach back for that time and heal whatever it is that came after that, that hurt you and caused you trauma. And you can even thank the trauma. Like in some ways, like I'm, it, even though um, I'm moving through things too, like we all are during this quarantine where it's like, it feels kind of like, what the hell is happening right now? But it's the perfect time for us to turn within and do some deep healing. And just like Mother Earth is getting replenished, the air quality is so much better than it's ever been. Um, we're so friendly with neighbors when we do see people and we're keeping our physical distance to protect each other. 
the grass has never looked greener. And plus it's the summer, we're in a springtime month, so perhaps the summer, but it is absolutely the perfect time for you to heal um, whatever past traumas you had that can get you back today. And that way you can get your power back. So that's what the card has been calling you to um, do is to, is to reach back in time and get your power back and be empowered, knowing that you are safe now, knowing that whatever hurt you in the past doesn't have any power anymore. And you can go back and even um, in a weird way, thank it, say, you know, cause it, it, it's some, cause sometimes it's some um, hereditary things that has nothing to do with us that we can heal as well. Um, that, that's so, this is so beautiful. And I'm so grateful. This is, this is the card that came up for my mom. So, you know, it's like, and this is all the work that I ever do is turning within going back to my heart and I'm um, trusting that I'm getting all the correct information and answers to help, to basically help, um, heal, heal our hearts. It's, it's so important. And that's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. And I hope that resonates with you. And I would absolutely love to help um, guide you through that if you would like. I, I know some really good shamans and healers as well that could possibly, that we could have them um, work with you as well. But it's so, it's so empowering to be able to get our power back in that way. And today we talked about the divine feminine, which is that card came up for somebody to connect more with our divine feminine self. I think females are so powerful. Um, we've been conditioned in our world to, it's a man's world, so we have to be kind of like bold and badass and I ruled it. And sometimes women who are in power, we get, end up being called bitches and all sorts of names. But I think leading with gentleness and kindness and um, and leading with receiving. So just, just being able to ask for it is that what you want in a gentle way and being connected to that divine feminine and also being ready to receive, receiving good, receiving love, receiving peace, receiving a soul retrieval, like um, being able to connect back to your soul. So important. So wow, it, this kind of took a, a deep turn, um, but I think it's so beautiful to be able to connect with that, to connect with our, our soul within and how amazing and truly blessed we all are. Um, I've been so lucky to be able to spend this time with you, this hour a day, and it's part of my, um, and this is the, the final card that popped up for today, is inner wisdom, and it's Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, divine, the ultimate divine feminine is Mother Earth, been able to connect with Gaia and um, that Earth energy. Mother Gaia is, we're talking about Mother Earth. Ooh. I heard a, a, a fire alarm. You have called upon this card today to let you know that the wisdom you are searching for is within. It is easy at times to look outside of ourselves for guidance and answers. However, right now your wisdom is coming from within. You are connected to the all knowing divine wisdom of the universe, a wisdom that is available to you at all times. You also have the wisdom of your life experience and those of your ancestors ready for you to access. So whenever Mother Gaia card shows up, oh, Tiffany, somebody's just asked to be on. Of course, of course, Tiffany, we'll add you on. Hey, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Um, so inner guidance, inner wisdom, that's the perfect card for that. Um, go, Mother Gaia. So beautiful. So on point. <laughs> all of these cards so on point and it's so perfect so i want to thank everyone for being on here um i've been shannon bobo i'm live every single day monday through whatever day it is uh <laughs> oh it's all good tiffany you're so cool um so again the talk of the day was what concert what was your first concert and then also we just read a couple of cards for people including some cards that has been really resonating with people, which is so cool. I'm on here every single day, Pacific Standard Time, 12 noon, and just reading cards. And it's just kind of like a refuge from 
what we're seeing in our posts and every day, just to connect. So I want to soul connect with as many people as possible while we have this time. And I'm so thankful to you. Um, and I encourage everybody to have their voice and to spread love, spread unconditional love and forgiveness. So much is happening right now. It's so important for us to understand that regardless of what's happening, whatever's going on, we are absolutely moving towards the we world. We are moving towards the we world and we have to realize that and understand that. And that's how we're gonna make big, beautiful shifts is by understanding that it's the we world, not the me world. We are absolutely moving towards the we. Um, so we all need each other. We are all love. We are all beauty. We are all gentleness. Anybody who was like, it's all about me, it, it won't be able to exist anymore. And we're starting to understand that abundantly clearly. I'll see you guys here tomorrow again at noon every single day. I've been Shannon Bobo. Thanks and goodbye.